Hey guys, today we're going to go over the new TrackMan Go app and some of the features and shortcuts that come with this new app. You will connect to the TrackMan the same by going into the Wi-Fi, connecting to TrackMan's Wi-Fi, and then going into the TrackMan Go app, and then clicking on your TrackMan signal. This is the new calibration screen that you can see you can at the top right corner you can select the indoor or outdoor mode you still have the same crosshairs with the zoomed in feature that comes with uh, being able to pinpoint a more accurate topic for your alignment you can also see this is where you will choose your ball type temperature and elevation that you want to be normalizing at you can always go back into and change the normalizing feature, but this is now easier way to kind of start your sessions. If you select in the top right corner the three tasks icon, it will open under the TrackMan icon, which will give you a brief description of your current unit's battery life and serial number and firmware. And then if you go to more, this is where you can break down some of the bigger options that TrackMan Go offers, that TrackMan classic doesn't like choosing what meters you want to be in your range view and then even a certain language that you want this platform to be in you can see there's other options and gestures that will walk you through how to work this app properly from setting up your trackman iCloud account like in our other tutorial video or just breaking down some of the shortcuts that this app has now if we move into some of the shots that we have saved in this platform you can see the clubs get broken down into an easier category and even have the option to select the club drop down and change what view you want to see in the shot list in the bottom left so if we move into the certain shot you can pin if you pinch with your two fingers to zoom in and out you can totally customize what order these parameters come in even if you click and hold and then drag the parameters in order, you can list them in the order that you want rather than reselecting everything. You can see here we have all parameters being shown, which may be overwhelming or unhelpful to most people. If you click the settings icon, you can see these are all the parameters that you can select or deselect. And so you can just go through this list and add what parameters you want to see. So let's go back to the settings icon, select a few more parameters to work with, and you can see in this platform, when the normalized feature is on, we display actual data and the normalized data, so you don't have to toggle back and forth every time, like the TrackMan Classic app. If you look at the top taskbar, you can see there's six options, from the data feature, to the parameters, to the playback video, to the trajectory, and then on the bottom left hand corner you can see we have the shot list selected but if we switch to the data list you can see now that's the parameters plus the trajectory of the ball flight the next feature is the side and top view and then something that's new in this platform is this optimizer feature so you can see when normalization is on you can see you can get the optimizer for that certain shot with the data still being shown on the left and then you can select whatever low, mid, or high trajectory you are trying to optimize your shot to. Then the last feature in the taskbar is simply the table view if you want to break down the data. Something that's different in the TrackMan Go app is the way you tag clubs. You can see in the top left corner, you don't create a custom club. You physically just type your own custom tag. So you would click add tag, add whatever tag you want to put here, click add, and then done. And then now you can see that tag is added to that shot. To add a different tag or remove that, click that same tag, hit the exit or the X on that certain tag. Then you can add whatever new tag you wanna add from here to move forward in the table list. If you have the shot list selected, you can press and hold one of the shots to change what club if you mislabeled something. So you can always go back and change that club rather than mislabeling your information. Or if you press and hold again, you can create the custom tags and changing the group to move it inside that same group rather than hitting another shot. 
Lastly, you can see the flag in the upper left hand corner. If you click that, that is where all your previous sessions have been saved to. So you can always just toggle back and forth if you want to look at previous data. Thanks again for checking out this video and look for more tutorials to come.